Welcome again to another service video on our dedicated outdoor air system, or DOAS. This video will cover pressure testing and leak checking procedures. If you're pressure testing for the sole purpose of locating a leak, you should perform a trace gas pressure test, so you have the option to use an electronic leak detector. This test can be done without violating the EPA Section 608 ruling regarding the handling of refrigerants. Start by connecting the blue gauge manifold hose to the suction line service port and the red gauge manifold hose to the liquid line service port. Next, connect the yellow common manifold hose to an R410A refrigerant tank and invert the bottle to charge in a liquid state. Next, be sure there are no isolated sections within the system to be pressure tested. Place the system in evacuation mode using the HMI on the system. Enter the HMI function by pressing the top two buttons on the HMI simultaneously. Navigate to the service menu and press enter. Enter the password if prompted of 1234. Next, go to the test menu and press enter, then down to evacuation mode and enable. If trace gas testing is required, start at zero PSI and add 410A refrigerant into the system until the vapor pressure reaches 10 PSI. Disconnect the yellow common hose from the refrigerant tank. Be sure your nitrogen cylinder is secure and located in a position where it can't fall over. The regulator valve should be wound fully out prior to connecting to the nitrogen tank. Connect the regulator to the cylinder and the yellow common manifold hose to the regulator. Open the system valves and open the high side manifold valve. To avoid damage to the low side manifold gauge, do not pressurize the low side of the manifold with test pressure. Open the nitrogen cylinder valve and slowly wind the nitrogen regulator in to pressurize the system. Pressurize the system in stages of 50 PSI increments. Listen for audible pressure loss at every stage and watch the gauge for pressure loss. If a leak is identified, the nitrogen should be vented, the leak repaired, and the leak test procedure repeated. When 400 PSI has been reached, close the nitrogen cylinder valve and the high pressure manifold valve. Note the exact pressure shown on the high pressure gauge and start the standing test procedure. Test each point with leak detection spray or soapy water to identify the leak point. If using an electronic leak detector, perform the following steps. Check your detector to make sure it works every time by moving the probe near a reference leak source. If there's wind in the test area, shielding the area from wind will yield better results. Most refrigerants are heavier than air. Starting at the top and working your way down will help keep you from picking up a leak below the actual leak point. Move slowly. Most detectors recommend moving one to three inches per second while staying within a quarter inch of the possible leak source. When a leak is detected, remove the wand, let it clear, and go back to the same point a few times to verify. Once you think you found a leak with electronic leak detector, use leak detection liquid to fully confirm. Once the leak has been located, slowly vent the remaining nitrogen, repair the leak, and then repeat the test procedure until a holding pressure of 400 PSI can be maintained for 30 minutes. Sealed refrigeration systems charged with nitrogen and trace gas have a constant volume that will respond to temperature with a change in pressure. The extent of the change varies with change in the ambient conditions. This should be taken into consideration if the standing pressure test is going to be performed for an extended period of time. Turn the nitrogen regulator valve fully out and remove the common hose from the regulator slowly, venting the nitrogen pressure. When it's established that the system is leak-free, it can be evacuated and recharged with refrigerant. Check out our other DOAS videos in the description below. If you have any questions on this or any of our products, please feel free to call or email. Thanks for watching.